Of course, the ag industry has seen a number of technological advances over the past few decades with things like the introduction of computers, monitoring systems, and GPS, just to name a few. Many of those are on full display at one business that grows produce without even getting their hands dirty. Damon Jones explains. Walk through your local grocery store or farmer's market and you'll be met with a variety of different fruits and vegetables that probably started off like this. However, through science and modern technology, Grant Anderson of Better Fresh Farms can grow any of this produce without even stepping foot in the field. It's a process called hydroponics. Uh, it just basically means you grow in a soilless environment. Uh, we use a nutrient rich water to supply our plants with the nutrients they need to grow. Um, and in this system, artificial lighting. Packed into two double wide trailers are sensors, monitoring systems and climate controls, which allow the farmer to adjust growing environment for the plants. That means no matter the weather outside, any type of crop can be produced at any time of year. Uh, it's a controlled environment. Uh, we manage all the aspects of growth of our plants, so it gives you the ability to really produce whatever you'd like to produce, what's most conducive for your market. So um, we can change our mix of crops at any point in time. It's just adjustments to the conditions inside of the containers. Being able to control the environment also has the obvious benefit of eliminating the unpredictability of Mother Nature. You take a lot of the questions that uh, the natural environment introduces for your crops out of the equation. Uh, you don't have the weather concerns, uh, you don't quite have the pest concerns, you don't have to worry about the applications that it takes to keep your, your plants healthy. Um, basically it produces a perfect environment where you eliminate a lot of those issues you would have to combat in a soil farming environment. However, creating these growing conditions takes plenty of hard work as they must be monitored and adjusted on a constant basis. We actually have an app that's attached to a computer in the container that feeds us information about what's going on in these systems at all times. Um, part of that is because you need to know what's going on at all times to ensure the plants are in the most favorable environment. Uh, there are a wide variety of factors that influence how our plants grow and whether or not they're healthy. Um, so it's, it's pretty much an around the clock process monitoring and managing the conditions. With so much being produced on such a small plot of land, Anderson really sees this as farming of the future with food demands constantly on the rise. This day and age, we're getting to a point where the food supply chain as it exists is not going to be able to handle population growth. Um, over time, there will be a greater need for local food sources. Uh, and being in a situation where you can grow fresh food that doesn't have to be sprayed with herbicides and pesticides, uh, that isn't shipped across the country to get to you that can actually last in your fridge that is fresh and local. Um, those are all really valuable things and having equipment that can perform in that way uh, I believe is not only a smart way to actually function as a business but it gives you something really valuable to offer to your local community. Reporting from Effingham County, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.